everyone and welcome to my channel. For those of you that are new here, my name is Ellie and I've just finished my degree at the University of Leeds and I will be going on to study a Masters in Mathematics at the University of Cambridge in September. That is all you need to know about me, I guess, before watching this video. Today I thought I would do a video just to show you what I'm getting up to now. Exams have finished and, you know, I've done my degree. I get my results exactly two weeks today. I'm excited for those. I'm also a little bit nervous. You know, you never know how results day can go. Get my results in two weeks and I am basically just planning on spending this summer growing my YouTube channel, which means a lot more videos on this channel. I honestly have so many ideas and so many videos that I want to film and I don't even know if I'm going to be able to film them all because I honestly have so many video ideas. So make sure you subscribe and hit the bell button so you don't miss out on any of those videos. I was actually offered an internship this summer so for those of you that don't know I did an internship last summer and that was as part of the UK Space Agency Space Placements and Industry Scheme which was like absolutely incredible and I've done videos on my channel talking about the application process and just my time being a space intern and how incredible it was. I was offered an internship as part of the same scheme again um, just with a different company this time so it's you know the UK Space Agency offered a load of different projects with different companies. I was offered a different internship with a different company and ordinarily if I was staying at Leeds for another year I would have said yes absolutely but because I'm going to do a master's at Cambridge in September October time I kind of realised that I need to give myself a bit of a break. I know that I work myself so hard, whether that's in uni or outside with extracurricular activities, you know, my YouTube channel, all the stuff that I've done. If you haven't seen on my Instagram, I'll put, you know, some videos here showing you what I kind of got up to this last year and it has been very busy. So I realised that maybe, you know, take a bit of time off and just relax and get prepared for Cambridge. So that is my plan this summer. I'm going to do a prepare for Cambridge with me video series on this channel so yeah as I said make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on those eventful videos so I just thought I'd show you what I'm getting up to now you know it's been a couple of weeks after exams have finished I guess give you a bit of an insight into my life outside of university today I've got to get tidied up my bedroom is currently an absolute mess I moved back and this is the first summer I've spent at home in two years so I have got a lot of stuff that would ordinarily be in you know my university accommodation so <laughs> Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that needs to get tidied up, so that's the plan, you know, the first thing this morning. And then this afternoon I've got to do some admin type thing for Cambridge, and I'm hoping this afternoon that I'll get a chance to climb on my home climbing wall. This has been a long enough intro, I will get on with the video. Hope you enjoy! If you do, then please like, subscribe and comment. I really appreciate everyone's comments. I got so many comments on my last video when I told you about getting offers from Oxford and Cambridge, and I still haven't stopped smiling from the lovely messages that I got. So thank you to everyone who does comment, thank you to everyone who you know likes please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribes it honestly means the world to me but as i said let's get on with the video and i hope you enjoy it are you ready to see the state that is my room whoa loads of stuff three two one the room is tiny and my hair is what are these what is that yeah i've tidied my room i'll just give you a little bit of a a tour I guess, got a little bit of my desk, um, my monitor which I still need to set up because I moved that back when I came back after Easter and yeah I need to set it up and in here are all my Raspberry Pi bits which will go with that towards my tech channel and then these are all my books and my Rubik's Cubes, nerd. As you can tell I love Brian Cox. Outside we have greenery and I think that's my mum in the background. <laughs> a bed and my guitar and me in the mirror so what i'm gonna do now uh it's probably oh i was gonna say sort my hair out but it i think we'll just go with it today so the plan now is it's quarter to 12 like i said i spent the majority of this morning moving all of my kitchen stuff into my dad's workshop where the climbing wall is the plan now is to release my next youtube video so i've put oh, I've, I've literally released three videos in three days which is unheard of on this channel i must admit i don't post that often so i've released three videos over the last three days uh, one of them was talking about my final exams then a little bit of a vlog when we graduated kind of celebrating exa after exams and then the one about getting into oxford and cambridge 
Bridge. So I was like, that's quite a lot of videos. I don't want to bombard people with lots of videos. So I put a poll on my YouTube and I said, three uploads in three consecutive days. The question is, should we make it four? And so far, 100% of people who voted, 13 votes, that's, that's quite good for my channel. That's, that's not bad, have all said yes. So my plan now is to just upload it. I figured that I don't want to, you know, make loads of videos and then hold them back from you. I'd rather make a video and as soon as I've edited it and done it, just release it to you because you're here for the content. You're not here to be waiting. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is basically release this at 12. So this video that's going up is essentially a video where I talk about my entire degree. I was asked by the University of Leeds to present at their conference. I think it was like a summer school for A-level students. Um, and I was part of one of the days where I just spoke about my experience at Leeds and as a university student. So this video will be up before this video. So if you're interested in that video, then you know, go check it out. I'll probably put a little tag up here for you to click it if you're interested. Now that is scheduled. So what I'm probably gonna do now is my older sister who has just bought a house is currently staying here at home. So she just bought a house so she's currently staying here until she can move into the house. So she is working from home, she's upstairs. So my plan now is to go make some lunch for Natalie, my sister, and I and eat. Cause I'm quite hungry, I must admit, I haven't really eaten much today. I've been so busy moving all my stuff. I honestly had so much stuff I don't know why I had so much stuff at university, but I just did. Um, I will see you once I've made lunch. Ooh, I've got some soup and I've also got some sweet potato fries. My sister is currently on another meeting, so I've decided to just make myself some food. And then I'm gonna go for a walk with her in a minute. Well, after I've eaten my lunch and currently I'm just watching my YouTube video because I've just released it and hopefully people will find it useful. So I'll tune in when I am on my walk. Hello, are you okay? We're going on a walk. <laughs> oh, there was a fly in my head. You know, Natalie's watching my video. To get an internship. Top fan. <laughs> Oh, you want a cuddle as well? <laughs> hey. I am back. I've just come back from the walk, which was really nice. I'm kind of like tired now. I feel like isolating for over 10 days has just kind of ruined my body. Because if you didn't know, my housemates tested positive for coronavirus literally in the last two weeks before. I was supposed to, to go home. Yeah, it was a bit of a nightmare, I must admit. It was a stressful period and I was the only one in the house that managed to avoid it. I basically just locked myself in my room and didn't want to. <laughs> I basically just locked myself in my room. I was just terrified of getting COVID. I know that I'm vaccinated once. I was still a bit dramatic about it. I just didn't want to get COVID. I think, you know, I didn't want to end uni on a really bad low, but unfortunately we had to isolate and the rest of my housemates got COVID, which was not ideal. Having isolated for, you know, over 10 days for like two weeks, I just feel like I didn't really do a lot in that time. So now whenever I actually do exercise, I'm just kind of like, now it's getting organized, admin stuff. Okay, so one of the first things that I need to do is apply for student finance. So for those of you that don't know, uh, masters are incredibly expensive. If it's not an integrated masters and it's a, it's a standalone masters, they can be very expensive. And so I need to apply to student finance to get a postgraduate loan. And that is what I'm going to be doing first on the list of things that I need to do. So I will check back in with you once I hopefully successfully apply for a student finance postgraduate loan. So student finance is done. I've applied for it. There are a couple of things that I need to just look at aside from student finance, just other funding things, which I'm probably going to do next. I didn't realise quite how much I actually have to do. There were just like little bits here and there that I need to do, like submitting documents and just a whole range of different things. It's quarter to two now. I've decided I'm going to go get a coffee. I am going to get a coffee because I desperately need one. <laughs> So there are a couple of emails that I need to send out, which is what I'm going to do now. So I'm going to send off some emails while I drink my coffee and hopefully the coffee will kick in and then I'll be a bit more motivated to, to do a bit more work. I'll tune in once the emails are sent. 
So I have made some good progress, I think. I have submitted basically all of the documents that I need to. So as part of my offer from the University of Cambridge, I had this here, which I'll show you. So I essentially got this from the University of Cambridge, which I don't know if it's gonna focus, yeah. The University of Cambridge and it basically is my conditional offer of admission certificate it talks about how much it costs and all, all these different things and then it says that you cannot come to Cambridge unless you meet the conditions of your offer which are stated on this page which I've highlighted a few of them so I need to upload um, my academic transcripts. So this is something that I've been emailing about to my maths department and to Cambridge as well. Basically Leeds have said that they're not sending out any transcripts or certificates until the 16th of August and when they are it can take up to four weeks for you to receive it and obviously I need to meet my conditions by the 31st. They have said in the email that they will be doing a, they'll be emailing you a digital proof of award on the 21st of July. I'm basically just really worried that I won't get into Cambridge because Leeds aren't giving me my transcript early enough and I, I won't meet that condition of my offer. So that's one thing that I'm a little bit stressed about but I think it should be okay. So I have done the rest of my offers which was just upload a passport, accept the offer itself which I, I did a couple of months ago. I've done the finance and then now all that's left is for me to reply to my college to say that I want accommodation there. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to reply to my college, send out the little application and say yes I want to live in college accommodation which would be really cool. The college that I'm at is Sydney Sussex and I'm really excited to go there. It's by the sounds of things an incredibly friendly accommodation, very central. It's about a 30 minute walk to climbing and you know I love climbing and it's about a 20 minute walk to the maths department so it's very nice, it's very central and I'm really happy that's the college that I got offered. So I'm going to reply to Sydney Sussex now. The Sydney Sussex application Thing that I need to send off has been sent off which is really good it took me a little bit interesting it took me a little bit longer than I kind of expected because there was a part in it that just said if you needed any specific requirements um, and for those of you that don't know if you haven't watched my Q&A video where I kind of spill the gossip on me as a, as a person I guess I actually suffer with what is known as a non-epileptic attack disorder and this very briefly it just means that I have seizures when I'm under a lot of stress and when I'm really tired or if I've done too much or if I've stared at screens for a little bit too long so, so I needed to declare that on on my form because sometimes if I have a seizure and it's a relatively big one it can leave me a little bit I suppose unable to move very well um so I just had to declare that on my form and and just say yes this is what happens during my seizure or you know after my seizure for those of you that are interested i guess a little bit of background about where my seizures came from three years ago i had a head injury because i used to race motorbikes nationally in, in the uk i used to be um, a rider for honda and prior to that kawasaki if you know who they are so i used to be a rider for honda and i had quite a bad head injury uh, cue this really lovely photo of me on here where i look uh awful so yeah, I, I, three years ago I had this really bad head injury and since then I've had seizures which are exacerbated when I am under a lot of stress or if I've done too much or physically exhausted, mentally exhausted. So yeah, not, not the best, but I know kind of how to deal with them now. I think it's almost a, been as bad as it is, a little bit of a blessing in disguise because it, at A-levels I used to just continually do work and burn myself out a lot whereas I think now I've realised that I need to pace myself a little bit more because I've had a head injury and I can have seizures as a result you know it's very easy to make your YouTube videos very perfect and you know get dressed up and put makeup on and, and kind of have this pretense whereas what I've realized now is be true to myself and post videos you know realistic videos you know but a lot of the time I didn't really want to mention my seizures on my head injury because I was almost a little bit embarrassed about it whereas now I embrace it and I'm like yeah that's who I am that's part of me anyway that is done I'm very happy I've done that the kind of final thing that I need to do are just two different things of funding but I think I'll leave them for maybe later in the week the final thing that I want to do is take all the maths that I have on my university portal so we have this what is known as Minerva and we have all our maths on there so you can see alongside here down here are all the kind of math modules I've done this semester and this year so my plan is and probably not going to do it now because I would like to go climb I am going to go through every single module that I've done at university and I'm going to take off all the question sheet answers past exam papers solutions lecture notes 
things like that because I will no longer have access to this I believe as soon as I graduate and a lot of the maths I've done at Leeds will help me studying towards Cambridge so I guess now I'm going to teleport to the climbing wall <laughs> We have these, these two. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can do it. I know I, I couldn't do it last time, so I'm gonna try again. I did one. Now let's climb. You joining me up here? What's wrong? Do you like this song? and I'm about to FaceTime Victoria whose birthday it is today and also she started her graduate job today so I'm going to FaceTime her now and see how it went and then afterwards I'm going to do some Code of the Future stuff but I'll explain everything that I'm doing when I do it so I'm going to FaceTime Victoria Look who it is! Hey. <laughs> Everybody say happy birthday to Victoria <laughs> so I've just come off FaceTime with Victoria which was lovely, she started her graduate job today and it's also her birthday so that was really nice to have a bit of a catch up. My plan now is just to get things organised for tomorrow so I kind of want to start doing a few more videos obviously on this channel and on my tech channel so I'm going to probably plan some videos out tonight on what I'm going to film tomorrow so I'm hoping to do some maybe shorter tech videos on my coding channel. If you are going to study maths at university I would recommend learning how to code because there is a quite a I suppose substantial element of coding in, in your degree and it's always fun to learn something new. So my plan now is to make some scripts ahead of filming tomorrow and that is about as exciting as my as my evening gets today. I will probably then get a shower and then you know watch some Netflix or something. So I'm gonna stop the video here because there's nothing else that's really gonna be that exciting. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Obviously it's a little bit of a different video. It's been I guess maybe not as entertaining as a study video. So I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did then please like, subscribe and comment and I will see you all in the next video.